into the cone. It had the trappings of any old country show. The fun of the fair when we arrived on Friday the 23rd of July 2021. Yes, there are plenty of people here, but is the game fair? After two years of Covid and shouting from Wild Justice, still relevant? Are we still relevant? Then on Saturday it felt like we realised that it is, and we are. The cricketer Ian Botham, now country people's peer Lord Botham, wrote an article that morning, a call to action for the Daily Telegraph. And he came to tell us, personally, in the Carter Jonas Game Fair Theatre. If you want to win a war, you bring all your allies together. You don't all go off in nine different tangents with different uh, agendas. So um, to corral them um, and to get everyone going in the same direction, you know, as I said in there, so, the, the one thing we must start doing is not continuously putting out fires. We need to actually start lighting a few of our own fires. And um, I think that we're coming together uh, with uh, the right people backing us. Uh, I think we can become a, a very healthy force for the countryside. All he was supposed to do was announce the new Aim to Sustain group of shooting organisations pledged to protect game shooting. What he announced was the same kind of confidence he displayed 40 years ago, winning the Ashes at Headingley. After Botham, the countryside was back. Personality after personality came on stage and said the same. Could you see a possibility for a, a mainstream BBC show, perhaps somebody on gamekeeping, just like Jeremy Clarkson on farming? Could that possibly happen? Or are we still a little way away from that? No, absolutely we could. And, um, you know, I, I think it's about having the right people doing the right job, getting the right voice, and making sure that it's um, directed and edited in a way that um, is acceptable. And um, journalists are tricksy people, and, and, you, and as a presenter, I have, I have no editorial control. And um, if you go out and make a programme about something and it's an independent company making that, they have f full editorial control and you can do all sorts of things in an edit studio. And so it's a little bit risky because it might not tell the story that perhaps some of this, the people in this room want to be told. And we all know there is a huge amount of controversy and you're alluding it to just my, by me being here. There, you know, that, that perhaps is me you know, putting my head above the parapet. But it, it's about telling the story right. At Field Sports Channel, we run the Game Fair Theatre as a three-day chat show. This year, I was interviewing people who were doing jobs that didn't exist two years ago. There was no Tweedle competition company in 2019. Deerbox didn't deliver venison. Mike Robinson set it up partly because of Covid. And the BBC had not yet told us that the countryside is racist. Well, I mean, I, I, I did try and speak to the country file about it because it was a very one-sided argument that isn't true because I'm a black person I can tell him exactly are you I know uh, I can tell him exactly how it is in the countryside and uh, his assessment of the countryside was massively flawed the numbers he's, he used to criticize the countryside is massively flawed. you know I have a lot of friends that are farmers gamekeepers and what have you I got Mark Avery onto the stage to fight it out with Andrew Gilruth of the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust and I'm not really sure why Avery's arguments were stuck in 2016. The level of persecution of hen harriers is so high that that explains, without having, any, having to invoke any other explanations, the very low levels of hen harriers in the uplands. Game Fair visitors watched Avery politely, but their interest is in the people speaking up for their sport. I personally think it's very important in the current climate, yeah, that People like that channel, people like Ian Botham, people like Mike Robinson are putting themselves out there and championing field sports and everything else that goes with that, yeah? So what happens next? Love it or disagree with it, Aim to Sustain is here to stay. It's not entirely clear what it will do apart from be big. Perhaps one thing it could do is set about picking up those multi-million pound gamekeeping contracts that the RSPB is collecting. Except we in the shooting community know how to save curlews and capicale and look after raptors. And there is no shortage of people looking for jobs in the countryside, as we found out at our Careers in the Countryside mini-show. Yeah, I've come in and uh, asking about a um, gunsmith apprenticeship. I've been really interested in that sort of thing, and um, like woodwork and uh, bladesmithing and all that kind of thing. Um, I'm a trustee of the gunmakers' company Charitable Trust. Uh, 
And the basic aim of, of, of the trust is to provide support by way of bursaries for uh, employers who are taking on apprentices within the gun trade. Um, and uh, trust has been going for 15 years or so, and uh, uh, we're now expanding it. Uh, we're trying to raise a little more money so that we can actually support more employers uh, with more apprentices over a longer period of time. What's been dogging us these last two years is lack of confidence. It takes the game fair to give us that back. Ah, there it was. Brilliant. See, sometimes the guns actually do know where they shot.